What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. So we're going to focus in on Pavel Zaka, a uh, Czech winger who is one of the top players eligible for the 2015 NHL entry draft. You know, really part of that Czech revival that we're seeing. You know, with more and more players coming out of there in recent years. That's a really a downtrodden period for hockey in the Czech Republic. And, uh, you know, obviously Thomas Ferdinand will be the biggest name in terms of the young stars. But, you know, guys like David Pastor, you know, the Boston Bruins and uh, guys like that that are, you know, really coming up the ranks and, you know, will be, you know, good players for, for years to come. Um, you know, and I, I think Zach is going to be the next in that in that line. I, I really like his game, power forward game. Six foot three, about two hundred pounds. You know, really uses his frame effectively, and is a, a gritty, hard-working winger that produces points through his effort and uh, through his size, and is able to take advantage of um, you know that size. I mean, being that big in that age group is definitely an advantage. And he played uh, thirty-eight games against men last year, so he has gone up against older competition. Um, you know, that's definitely a good thing for his development. And he went number one overall in the CHL entry draft or the CHL import draft, excuse me, to the uh, Sanya Sting, and um, there was a kind of pissing match there, but it looks like he's going to be in Sanya next year, and um, you know, I think it's going to be a really good fit for him. Um, they're obviously, you know, coming off a bad season, but between him, D'Angelo, and, and uh, not projected 2016 and one overall pick, Jacob Chitrin, they'll be playing a really, really entertaining brand of hockey, and, you know, I, I think he'll do well in the OHL. I think his game translates very well to North American hockey, in that he uses his size to, um, you know, effectively control and, and protect the buck. And, uh, you know, I don't know how much his offense... I, I, again, I've deviated away from making comparisons in recent years, but got a little bit of the Gabriel Landeskog in him. And I'd say that even if he wasn't a European coming over to play in uh, in the OHL, I just I see a lot of his points coming through effort and, you know, understanding how to cycle the puck, you know, how to, you know, be effective down low, you know, just little things like that. And, um, you know, I think Zach is going to be one hell of a player, and I think he'll be a top ten pick. Um, right now, could he break into top five? Sure, why not? Um, you know, with a big season in the OHL. I mean, he was absolutely dominant at the U-20 level in the Czech Republic last year, 17 points in 10 games, 64 penalty minutes, uh, then, you know, 8 points in 38 games with um, Billy Tiger, which I think is the White Tigers. Not so good on my... Uh, Slavic languages, but um, and you know you can really just see how good it was. Five points in seven games. One of the younger players on the uh, Czech U18 team played at the World Juniors for the uh, Czech Republic. No points in five games, but to be that young and play, um, you know, such a big time, you know, in, in such a big stage, is definitely a good thing for his development. You know, I'm curious to see how with the with the World Juniors this year. You know, what kind of role does he play with that team? And that's definitely a um, for someone like me, it's a life with with the draft and everything. That's what I'm gonna watch to see. And you know, Bob McKenzie always says a world junior performance for a draft eligible player can only help them. It can't hurt them if they're overmatched. Oh well, because I mean, how many great players don't don't make the world junior team in their draft year? Um, obviously, that's not the case with countries other than Canada. But you catch my drift there. Um, you know, you're playing against older competition like that. You know, you got to kind of take it, take it with a bad take, with a grain of salt. You know, whatever cliche you choose to use. Um, but I think Zach is going to be a, um, a one of the better players in the in the tournament overall next year. Um, I like his game. I like his physicality. I like, you know, I think he's got a little more talent than asking his game than he gets credit for. And uh, I think that's going to develop into one hell of a hockey player. You know, I think he'll be a top six power forward in the NHL. You know, there's so many different types of power forwards. I mean, you know, prototypical, you know, be like a Milan Lucic, you know, 25 goals, 100, 150 penalty minutes. But, you know, I think the penalty minutes, I don't know if they'll necessarily be there. But at the same time, who cares? You know, if he's a physically effective player and produce offensively, uh, I'll take it. You know, I think 30, 35 upside is there. Downside, 20, 25. Pretty safe pick. So we'll see what happens. And I'm excited to watch him play. Um, you know, I don't know if it's science to deliver if he's coming over to Sarnia, but I, would, I definitely am looking forward to seeing what he can do. Anyway, now talking about this episode of the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles on Pavel Zaka, 2015 draft eligible winner coming out of the Czech Republic. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.